Hi folks, it's Max from Ohio on Android.com where we get <laughs> on Android every day. Today we're going to show you how to fix status 7 errors when you're installing custom ROMs. Why is this ROM not installing? This is an official AOKP ROM! Ah, what the hell? What the hell? I know how you feel. You feel like throwing your phone across the room. Hell with this! Ah! But don't worry, there's a simple fix for this. You just gotta get really high on Android. Hey, let's go do this, baby. Almost 420. Hi, folks. So this is probably what happens uh, when you install some ROMs and uh, you get the status 7 error. Uh, let me go ahead and demonstrate what happens uh, when I install AOKP ROM here um, on my Note 2 here. And you get this uh, prop, get prop error, status 7 error. And uh, let's go fix it. Very easy to fix. This is simply a check, making sure you have the correct phone. And sometimes with certain Clockwork Mod Recovery uh, versions, they may be, you know, failing with the certs. But you can simply simply remove them. Um, so go ahead and copy the zip file to your computer, and I'll show you on my computer real quick. So whatever the zip file is, go ahead and uh, double click on it and uh, open it. You'll find like a bunch of files here. Simply extract all files, all right? And I'm gonna go ahead and extract it. You can use whatever extractor. I'm just using the default Windows 7 extractor here. And uh, we're simply gonna uh, edit a couple files and uh, reinsert it. Um, here you'll see that uh, I've got the whole folder here. I'm gonna go into uh, the meta inf, uh, the com directory, Google directory, Android directory. Usually it's here. You'll find this file called updater.script. Um, go ahead and rename it to .txe uh, so you can you can edit it uh, as a text file and go ahead and double click it to open. And uh, I do recommend using like a, a good editing software, text editing software. I mean you can use Notepad too, uh, but I like to use this edit, EditPad Lite 7. Um, it correctly uh, makes all the lines correct and all that good stuff. So this is why I use it. Um, you'll see this line here, assert. This is where it checks if uh, the Clockwork Mod Recovery, the phone you're using, is compatible with um, the ROM you're installing. So this check can sometimes get in your way, even though you have the correct uh, phone for the ROM. And sometimes developers they might put the wrong thing in there. So go ahead and erase all of it to the to the next line where the uh, semicolon is. Erase this whole thing, all right? And this will get rid of the check, and you'll be able to install it regardless of the phone. But do make sure you have the correct ROM for your phone. Uh, for example, I have the AT&T um, Note 2 right now, and uh, this is actually for AT&T T-Mobile or also GTN 7105. So it should be compatible. Um, go ahead and save it. I'm going to go ahead and save it here. Save. Uh, and then close up your app. And then go back here. And then rename it back to updater-script. Alright. And if you're using like uh, Linux command line or something or Mac OS, you can just edit it using uh, the command line also if you're that much advanced. And then I'm going to go back to the actual folder directory. And I'm going to simply zip it up. And I'm going to uh, copy it back to my phone. And we're going to flash it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to zip it. You can use your favorite zipping program. I'm just using an old version of Alzip, uh, which, which I like because you can also use different formats. You can use like 7-zip. Um, or you can even use the uh, default, uh, default, what is it? default Windows zipping software. I'm going to go ahead and copy this to my phone. There we go. So I've got my phone connected. I rebooted it into the system. Or you can use an external SD card if you'll make it faster. I'm going to go ahead and copy this new version of zip file. Make sure it's not the old version that's not edited. I'm going to go ahead and, and copy it into my download directory here. Uh, it's going to just write, probably write over. I'm going to go ahead and copy and re replace. And that's pretty much it. Now you'll be able to install without the status 7 error, without changing your Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, you can also use Twerp Recovery, which doesn't check for asserts. Um, but you know, when you switch to Twerp Recovery, uh, your Clockwork Mod Recovery backups are not compatible for restoring from Twerp Recovery. And plus, it's just more hassle. You can just do this on, in your computer. It takes like a minute to unzip and change, uh, get rid of those asserts and uh, install the ROM. So if next time you have this problem, um, go ahead and use this method. Let's go back to our phone and make sure it installs now. 
Another way to fix this problem is update your clock from our recovery to the latest version using ROM Manager. Now, um, even sometimes there are some cases where that doesn't work if the developer of the ROM made the mistake of putting the wrong asserts or uh, forgot to put the asserts for your phone. Um, so this is a great way to get around it and works regardless of whatever device you have. Now again, just a warning, don't use, make sure the ROM you're installing is for your phone. Uh, if it's not and you get rid of the asserts and you install it, you can hard break your phone. So just as long as it is made for your phone, you shouldn't have a problem. So I'm going to go ahead and install zip from SD card and I'm going to go ahead and find the file now and it is the same file I was installing here but this is the new one that I've just um, made different stuff, uh, made the changes, got rid of the certs and boom it's going to install and you'll be on your way so you'll see those lines so that's also you can edit the files to you know um, get rid of like modem insulation um, you know you can kind of figure it out but anyway that's how you get rid of uh, status 7 error and I hope this helps you install a new custom ROM uh, again just double check the ROM is for your phone then you can just edit the file and be able to install it so that is done and that's about it and that wraps it up and I hope you fix your status 7 problems in the future and as always don't forget to hit that like button here subscribe button down there and uh, we'll see you soon and have a happy 420 tomorrow. See y'all later. Stay high on Android.